Happy Monday, Calvary. I'm filling this during the week of summer day camp here at Calvary. I've spent my time with a group of six to nine year old boys, and we've been having a lot of fun. And a part of any extended time with a group of kids is a little bit of correction. You know, like encouraging them to sit during the lesson time or to drink water on a hot day and to not cry when they lose a game. Just like kids need some of those gentle reminders for daily life, we also need some of those reminders in our spiritual walk with God. Listen to what Paul wrote in Galatians 6 1. He said, Brothers, if anyone is caught in any transgression, you who are spiritual should restore him in a spirit of gentleness. Keep watch on yourself, lest you too be tempted. Paul acknowledges here that we might get caught up in things that aren't pleasing to God. Transgressions are sins, and as Christians, we might get stuck in a pattern of disobeying God. And if that happens, it's good to have people around you who care about you and can restore you. These are people who know you, who see your life, they care about you, and they notice when your walk with God is starting to go off course. We need to welcome that person to speak into our life. We need people who notice when we have entered a pattern of disobedience. Notice what Paul says about the person who does this restoration. In fact, there is a lot more about who and how we restore someone who is caught in a sin than there is about the sin or the sinner. Paul starts out by saying in verse one, that this conversation should be done in gentleness, and you should examine yourself before confronting someone else. Paul goes on in verse two. He says this, bear one another's burdens, and so fulfill the law of Christ. For if anyone thinks he is something, when he is nothing, he deceives himself. But let each one test his own works, and then his reason to boast will be in himself alone and not in his neighbor for each will have to bear his own load. Paul describes the spiritual person who goes to restore his fellow Christian as number one, gentle, number two, self-examined, number three, humble, and number four, able to bear his own load. It is this type of person who can restore someone who is caught in a transgression. As I said, I've had a lot of time this week to correct the kids in my group but I always tried to do it first by example. Before I encouraged the kids to participate in worship, I had to participate in worship. I had to listen to the Bible and stay off my cell phone before I told the kids to do that same thing. And I had to respectfully listen to them and their needs before I expected them to listen to me. At Calvary, we call this earning the right to be heard. If we see someone who's caught in a sin, we should seek to earn the right to be heard. Before you open your mouth to confront someone, be sure that you have modeled the life that you want to inspire in others. To restore someone in gentleness, be sure the person you are seeking to restore knows how much you love them and that you care about them. When someone knows this about you, their hearts and their ears will be open to hearing what you have to say. Remember, earn the right to be heard. Now, if you are someone who is right now caught in a transgression, would you be ready to be restored? If someone comes to you to talk about your life, welcome them. Don't worry too much about how they do it. Just be ready to hear and be conformed to God's word. This is one of the challenging yet very beautiful aspects of the Christian life. When we are connected with others and share life together, we are open to their input and their insights into our lives. I hope that you will seek to bring others close to you so that they will have the ability and have earned the right to restore you when you start to turn from God's way. Hey, if today's video has been helpful, please like it, share it, or leave a comment below and have a great day.